As I mentioned earlier, the chapter is named thermochemistry, um, but we do consider other things that aren't necessarily specific to chemistry. So the broader area is referred to thermodynamics, where we're looking at the relationship between heat, energy, and work, and how we interconvert one to the other. Um, so thermodynamics is based on different laws of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics is energy is not created, nor is it destroyed. It can be changed from one form into another, okay? So when we talk about thermodynamics, we're considering the laws of thermodynamics and a design convention as it relates to something we call the system and the surroundings. Okay, so when energy is lost or gained in different ways, we need to indicate that by using a certain sign convention. Okay, so once we talk about the sign convention, you have to look at it from the point of view of the system, that which you are focused on, and the surroundings is everything else. We're going to be dealing with closed systems where energy can be passed to um, the surroundings or from the surroundings to the system. Um, but in an isolated system, you cannot exchange energy. So in our idea of a, a closed system, we're dealing with the flow of energy um, in and out of a system. Okay. So again, this is going to be the sign convention that we're going to be referring to from here on within this chapter. There's a very small equation, it's not too hard to remember, that has to do with the change in the internal energy of a system. Um, and it has to do with the heat, how the heat is exchanged between the system and its surroundings and the work done by the system or done by the surroundings on the system. And this is where the sign convention comes in. Again, we're looking at Q as our symbol for heat exchange and W as our symbol for work exchange. So the change in the internal energy of any system is just the sum of the work and the heat that's being exchanged. Okay, so in terms of sign convention, it's a very important. Energy is added to the system. That's going to be in a plus Q or plus W fashion. So a positive Q would mean that heat, not temperature necessarily, but heat is being added to your system from the surroundings. And a positive W is that work is being done on the system by the surroundings. As a result, the internal energy of the system is increasing, okay? If the internal energy of a system is decreasing, energy is being removed either in the form of heat or work. So that's a negative Q, meaning heat. Remember, heat is not necessarily temperature. Heat is being removed from the system going to the surroundings or the system is doing work on the surroundings. Now, in terms of this positive and negative work, it's often important to think of um, a moving piston in something like a combustion engine, uh, for example. So if the piston is being moved up, the system is doing work on its surroundings. But if the system is being pushed down, the surroundings doing work on the system. So that's a good example for that. Um, dealing with heat is a little bit different. So the heat can take the form of a temperature change. So if you're looking at just a simple temperature change or heat exchange process, you can think of heat being put in and it actually resulting in a temperature change. Now this could be uh, absolutely true. Um, this would not be considering where you might have a chemical reaction or a phase change. This would simply be referring to a simple heat exchange process. So a positive Q in this case would indicate that something is just um, being heated up to change the temperature. Um, and then a negative Q would be something is cooling down and heat is being off in 
being given off and the object is cooling. Okay, so those are examples, but it's tricky again, when you're dealing with Q, you're not necessarily looking at a uh, temperature change in the way that you think of heat. So we'll use more of those examples later. So this is a nice summary slide in terms of um, the sign convention. Remember, in um, is a positive sign, whether it's heat or work, and out is a negative sign, again, whether it's heat or work. So this, again, is work done on the system is positive, work done by the system is negative. Heat transfer into the system is positive, heat transferred out of the system is negative. If we're talking about a simple heat exchange where no chemistry is happening and no phase changes are happening, um, a heat transfer in would be making an object hotter and heat transfer out would have having an object cool down. Okay, but remember that this can be tricky. So we're going to talk about other situations where the temperature might not necessarily change that way. Um, Keep in mind that energy is conserved according to the first law of thermodynamics. So just because you put heat in doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to result in a change in temperature. You could actually change the potential energy of the system when you're doing chemistry. So you do need to be concerned about the sign convention and not just that, but how does that result in a temperature change when you're dealing with Q? So we'll look at specific examples of that um, in a little while.